Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raised Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Emil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Dr. Ashish Jha has emerged as one of the leading medical figures during the COVID pandemic, dispensing evidence-based information and insights in a clear and helpful way through hundreds of interviews with TV, print, and radio journalists, with more than a few podcasts thrown in for a good measure. Dr. Jha, currently Dean of the Brown University School of Public Health, was on the faculty of the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health for many years and is recognized as one of the leading health policy scholars in the nation. So our audience obviously probably has seen you on TV and knows a lot about you, but uh, we like to hear the backstory of our guests. So what first got you interested in a career in medicine? Uh, if we're going to be honest, part of it was clearly driven by, my, by the fact that my parents really, really, and particularly my mom, really, really, really wanted one of her sons to be a doctor. And my older brother had zero interest. So it was me or bust. And as an immigrant kid from India who felt like, oh, I really should think about this, I have to say that was definitely a big part of the influence. You know, what was interesting, though, Shiv, is I arrived in medical school and I loved it. I fell in love with medicine. Uh, so I wasn't I'm not sure I went for the right reasons, but I certainly stayed for the right reasons. I just decided medicine was awesome. And then the only other thing I'll say is, you know, during medical school, as I started on the wards and started seeing patients, I quickly realized that so much of what shaped people's lives that landed them in the emergency department or landed them in the hospital really was outside of traditional kind of sphere of medicine, right? It was about where they lived and the neighborhoods they lived in and what kind of food they had and jobs they had. And I thought about that and I thought about how do I help people uh, more broadly and realize that that's the purview of public health. Is there anything else that I haven't asked you about that you'd like to be able to convey to our audience? But one of the questions I often got asked last year and I still do sometimes this year is people say, you know, when are we going back to normal? And I would say, well, what do you mean normal? And they say, well, you know what life looked like before the pandemic. And my answer was, you mean 2019? Never. We're never going back to 2019. And that's okay. It's actually not a problem because there's no reason to think 2019 was the greatest year in human history. You know, pandemics change societies, but how they change societies is largely up to us. And so there is a moment now and in the next 6 to 12 to 18 months, but not forever, where a lot of things that we took for granted, that we felt couldn't be changed, whether they are systemic inequities in our society, whether they are the way we pay for health care, the way we think about social determinants, the, you know, how we, do we really invest in global partnership, things that felt really, really hard to move, they just got a lot easier to move. And so what I would ask all of your listeners is use this moment to say, how do I make our society better? How do I move the needle on things that are important? Because this is the moment to do it. It won't be here in five years, it won't be here in 10, it wasn't around five years ago. And that's the big silver lining of what has otherwise been a pretty horrible pandemic. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.